Have you ever found yourself overwhelmed by the multitude of ways you can sell on Amazon? Trust me, you're not alone. It's amazing to have choices, but sometimes they can leave us feeling a bit lost in a sea of options. When it comes to selecting the right Amazon business model, we often say that there is no definitive right or wrong answer. What works perfectly for one person may not be appealing to another. If you have a vision creating a successful online venture, but you are unsure which path to take, don't worry, we have got you covered. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, Product Evangelist at SellerApp and today I'm going to discuss some of the highly flexible Amazon business models that will help you to grow in sales as well as in revenue at a rapid pace. Here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you found this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to SellerApp so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels. Let's get started. Choosing the right business model for your Amazon venture starts with considering the type of product you are selling. If you are brimming with ideas for creating a new design, rebranding or improving an existing product, you have options like private label and handmade. On the flip side, if your aim is to resell the products sourced from the suppliers or manufacturer, you have a range of choices such as retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, drop shipping, or wholesale. The choice of which model to pursue depends on few key factors your initial investment, the time you can dedicate to daily operations, and any other specific criteria that are relevant to your situation. Now, what's interesting to note is that you aren't limited to a single business model. You have the flexibility to continue different models within a single seller account. This can be a smart move, allowing you to diversify your product offerings and tap into multiple revenue streams. Many successful Amazon sellers take advantage of this approach. Ultimately, the key lies in aligning your chosen business model with your product and goals. Keeping that in mind, let's examine six Amazon models with their pros and cons to help you get started on the platform. First up is the private label business. In this model, you can purchase inventory from a third party producer and then brand those products with your own company logo before selling them on the platform. Essentially, you are creating your own unique brand. For example, imagine you run a sweatshirt business. You can source plain unbranded sweatshirts in various sizes and styles from a manufacturer. Then you could add your custom designs or quotes along with your company logo to these shirts. And voila, you now have your own brand of sweatshirts ready to be marketed and sold on Amazon. The secret to succeeding with a private label lies in building your brand's reputation through strategic marketing, search optimization and promotions. It's a bit of a balancing act though. On one hand, you won't have to worry about a generic brand capturing your sales as you can differentiate your product in the market. And on the other hand, you'll be solely responsible for maintaining and growing your own brand image. Now, this model is best suited for ambitious e-commerce sellers who not only want to make profits, but also aim to establish and expand their brand presence on Amazon. If you have a well thought out plan, a unique or creative idea and the courage to grow your brand on the platform, this could be the perfect fit for you. Private label is one of the most popular ways to do business on Amazon with the countless sellers adopting this model. Just browse through the platform and you'll find reputable brands alongside independent ones competing across various product categories. Running a private label business on Amazon can be quite expensive since you need to purchase standard products in bulk, brand them and manage orders. It's important to be prepared financially. Now, most private label business owners initially invest over $2,500 when starting out. However, it also depends on the initial price and minimum order quantity as well. 
While there is an inherent risk for lesser known brands, the rewards can be enormous, especially if you are all set up for your website. More than half of the private label sellers on Amazon are able to achieve monthly sales of over $5,000. Next is retail arbitrage. This classic business model involves finding great deals, buying products in bulk at discounted prices and selling them for a profit. It's a fantastic way for newbies to generate cash flow and build up a diverse portfolio of the products. Plus, you will get a good sense of product categories that are in high demand and offer the best returns. The process itself is quite straightforward. You search for wholesale items that are priced affordably, consider the cost of goods sold, the factor in Amazon fees and the additional fees and set your selling price. Just make sure to check out your competitors pricing strategies to ensure you're not overpricing or underpricing. It's a cost effective way to start selling on Amazon, allowing you to choose your own inventory based on the demand, price and profit potential. You have the flexibility to deal with a wide range of products. It's perfect if you are on a tight budget and unsure about what to sell. As you figure out which products yield the highest returns with the lowest costs, you can narrow down your inventory accordingly. Since you're buying the products yourself, you have the control over their quality and pricing. You get to inspect the items, source them at affordable prices and repackage them for Amazon sales, giving you the final say in how you do the business. Now there are various tactics you can use like purchasing stock and closing the stores, making bulk buys during the seasonal periods or taking advantage of clearance sales at the end of the year. Starting your Amazon arbitrage journey is a breeze. You can begin with a small selection of products and gradually expand your business as your sales increase. Now, here's an ultimate tip that can help you discover the high demand, low competition product opportunities for your business. Simply access the Seller Apps product research feature to get everything in one place. Now, this tool is exclusively designed to provide you with estimates of monthly sales, the revenue, number of reviews and other useful metrics to help you find the right product for your business. Now, this is a great way to easily validate your product research. Let me quickly show you how. After logging into the Sarab dashboard, this is how the platform looks like where, you know, all the key actions reflect. Navigate to the product research feature over here. If you are a beginner level seller or an experienced seller looking to expand your portfolio, then this is the perfect feature you're looking at. We have recently upgraded this with smart filters and advanced filters, and I can't wait to show it to you. Simple filters are for beginners. Under this, we have category and include keywords fields. Now you can choose any category from the drop down menu and enter the keywords. If you aren't sure about this, you can simply make use of the smart filters that is best seller, low competition, high growth and custom. Now I'm selecting best seller and clicking on search products. The search results will be displayed on the screen. You can also go to edit filters and choose other smart filters, say for example, custom. Here you get two options, simple and advanced. Under advanced, you get all of these options. Select the desired category, enter the minimum and maximum range for ratings, review count, weight, opportunity score, BSR, etc. After filling in all the information, you can also save filter by entering the name so that you can visit again. You can continue with your search effortlessly. Now click on search products. Here you'll find the overview section. These values are for page one products. Once you go to page two, the overview values will be totally different. Now, out of all these products, which one will give you the best opportunity to sell on Amazon? Well, that is determined by the opportunity score present here. It determines the sales potential of your product. It's SellerApp's exclusive feature wherein SellerApp algorithm scores these products based on all of these criteria. For this product, the opportunity score is high and it depends on these factors. In order to get high sales potential, you need to have high opportunity score. For that, you got to have high demand, high revenue potential, 
लो कॉम्पिटिशन लो ओवर हेड कॉस्ट हाई प्रॉफिट मार्जिन एंड हाई पी आईज इंडेक्स नाउ पी आईज इंडेक्स इज द प्रोडक्ट इनोवेशन स्कोप इंडेक्स विच डिटर्मिन द स्कोप ऑफ इम्प्रूवमेंट इन योर प्रोडक्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस यू हैव अदर मेट्रिक्स योर विच विल हेल्प यू टू सिलेक्ट द बेस्ट प्रोडक्ट टू सेल ऑन एमजॉन Additionally you have this column called track product where you can successfully track them to understand the quality and performance of their listings now in this way you can easily find out the top products to sell on amazon moving on compared to other business models the retail arbitrage is one of the least expensive ways to get started on amazon in fact over 45% of retail arbitrage sellers begin with an investment between $500 and $1000 many retail arbitrage sellers report earning modest profits a significant percentage of sellers that is 62% make approximately $5000 per month with while a quarter of them earn less than $500 monthly now it's worth noting that the profit margins can be impacted by factors such as competition pricing strategies and market saturation moving on to the next business model that is online arbitrage now it is simply a form of retail arbitrage that's done entirely online the core idea behind online arbitrage is to search for affordable inventory on various e-commerce platforms and websites and then sell those products at a higher price on amazon now instead of hitting the streets and negotiating with vendors you can do all of these from comfort of your own home with the abundance of e-commerce sites like amazon ebay and shopify the opportunities of sourcing the products at minimal cost seem endless you can actually compare the prices instantly on amazon to ensure a profitable deal it's a smart way to find hidden gems and capitalize on them now one major benefit of this model is to uh, you know its convenience you save time and travel costs by conducting your business entirely online no need to roam the streets or have lengthy meetings with vendors it's a beginner friendly approach that can be executed well by anyone make sure to factor in shipping costs and carrying charges when calculating your potential profit it's crucial to ensure that you can still turn a profit even after you know accounting for these expenses now online arbitrage offers flexibility and allows you to work discreetly and remotely you have the freedom to find deals order inventory and make sales at your own convenience it's a business model that fits various lifestyles and work routines the initial costs of starting an online arbitrage business typically ranges from $500 to $2500 many e-commerce sellers are willing to invest more in this venture since there's less physical exchange of money and goods involved In terms of earnings, online arbitrage business owners uh, generally earn similar amounts to retail arbitrage sellers, with a small minority making slightly more. Now, however, compared to retail arbitrage, online arbitrage often involves the lower costs, resulting in higher profit percentages. Keeping in mind that you still need to account for delivery and manage orders online. Now, next is wholesale. It is a model where you purchase large volumes of inventory directly from the suppliers or producers, sell them on Amazon for higher profit margins. Each item's price is determined by the cost of purchase, Amazon charges, and your desired profit. Now, one key distinction between the wholesale and the arbitrage models is that the wholesale involves buying in bulk directly from the suppliers or the manufacturers. Typically there is a minimum order requirement to access the wholesale rates. Unlike arbitrage where you find inherently low priced units, the wholesale rates are available when you purchase the products in larger quantities. Now this is why understanding market demand and sales history is crucial to avoid being stuck with excess inventory that may become outdated. Wholesale purchases allow you to find the high demand products at relatively lower prices. with some research and market testing you can identify which products offer better returns and focus on developing niche over time now when you buy the wholesale uh, you establish relationships with specific suppliers 
Now this eliminates the need to drive around in search of deals having a reliable supplier who offers quality products at affordable rates, saves time compared to constantly hunting for small store bargains. One major drawback of the wholesale model is that the need for substantial upfront funds to invest in larger orders while the per unit cost may be lower when buying in bulk but you must have enough capital to purchase the stock before making a profit. Now there is a level of risk involved as you can't guarantee the speed at which you will sell your inventory. Wholesale may not be the most suitable business model for the beginners on a budget seeking uh, a lower risk approach to make money. Now, many wholesalers on Amazon are willing to invest up to $2,500 to launch their business. Now the majority of e-commerce sellers engage in wholesale businesses which earn over $5,000 per month. Average profit margins for most wholesalers ranges up to 20%. Now, dropshipping has become a popular source of passive income for many sellers, including the freelancers. It's a business model that allows you to earn money without the hassle of managing the inventory, storage and shipping. In the dropshipping model, you act as an agent for a supplier. Your main role is to receive and manage orders, promote the products on various platforms and represent the business. The supplier takes care of all the operational aspects from packaging to shipping and delivery. And the best part, you earn a percentage of the profits from the sales. Dropshipping is incredibly convenient for those seeking a passive income stream. However, it's not without its downsides. So since you are uh, replying on the supplier for product quality and delivery, you have a little control over the aspects. If the product is subpar or the issues arise during the delivery, it could impact your reputation as a seller. The key to success in dropshipping lies in finding trustworthy suppliers who offer the great products and have a reliable storage and delivery system. Building strong partnerships with reliable suppliers is essential for maintaining a positive seller reputation as well as ensuring the customer satisfaction. Now, one advantage of dropshipping is that it's one of the best, least uh, time consuming ways to do business on Amazon. Since the suppliers handle most of the work, you will have the minimal time investment compared to other models. By the way, we recently published an in-depth guide on Amazon dropshipping. So check it out in the link in the description below to access it and learn more about this exciting business model. Next we have is handmade. Now a lot of mom and pop stores, craftsmen and artists gravitate towards Amazon to sell their homemade products. Now this business model offers you complete control over the quality, size, quantity and value of your goods. Handmade selling is best suited for dedicated e-commerce sellers who have the time and resources to produce, manage and sell their inventory online independently. Running your own online business is the way, uh, you know, it comes with both tremendous risk and tremendous freedom. You'll need to handle everything from accounting to delivery, but you also have the opportunity to drive your product to life exactly as you have envisioned it. If you're planning to sell your own handmade products on Amazon, it's important to have a clear vision for your business. Consider the time and resources you're willing to invest and set realistic expectations for your returns. Don't let your product remain in a vague possibility, uh, you know, in your mind. So start thinking about the specifics that is design, aesthetics, functionality, resources, the pricing and production. Develop a prototype and test it in the local market before selling it online. Testing the product with local buyers will provide valuable feedback and insights. Their reactions will inform the changes you make to the product and guide your online uh, marketing strategies. Now, the market for handmade products on Amazon is vast and competitive. Some of the most popular items include the jewelry, decorative pieces, artwork and much more. Handmade products are generally less expensive to make and although it's you know you can depending on your production progress as well it can be challenging to achieve the substantial returns from selling handmade products online monthly sales usually fall in the range of five hundred dollars to five thousand dollars depending on the average selling price of the product 
Now, when selling the handmade products, consider manufacturing costs, factor in the self wage, and set aside the profit for scaling your business. This ensures sustainable profitability and growth. So, after understanding these Amazon business models, it's important to look at the major deciding factors before you pick any business model for your own venture and you know these are assess the pros and cons take a close look at each business model's advantage and disadvantages are you looking to build a long-term brand from scratch if so private label might be the perfect fit but if you are seeking a secondary source of income online or retail arbitrage could be the way to go stick to your budget now it's essential to consider your business's strengths and weaknesses when selecting an amazon business model remember the tools you choose uh, you should work to take to your advantage take into account the factors such as your budget the level of risk you're willing to take on and how much you can invest initially next is budget every business requires an initial investment and there's always some level of risk involved assess if your budget aligns with the amount of risk you're comfortable with next is time evaluate how much time you can dedicate to your amazon business each day if you have a full-time job calculate how much free time you'll have each week to monitor the sales and manage the orders next is flexibility determine whether you see selling on amazon as a side hustle or a full-time business Depending on your preference, you may choose to work from home or expand by renting the office space, securing a storage facility and hiring staff. Learn from the experience. Consider your level of experience with Amazon business. If you have prior experience, you can leverage your connections and expertise to negotiate the favorable deals with the suppliers and even source inventory smoothly. However, if you are new to the game, be prepared to learn as you go research different business models to understand the required level of experience and the amount of risk you're comfortable with be carefully assessing these factors you'll be able to choose the amazon business model that aligns with your goals and the resources now so far we have explored all the six of the most popular business models adopted by the e-commerce sellers on amazon each model has its own unique advantages and disadvantages what works for one person may not be the best fit for another ultimately your choice depends on your specific business goals ambitions the needs resources and location it's crucial to carefully evaluate the pros and cons of each model before making a proper decision once you have identified the best strategy for your business stick to it and remain committed to it in the long term consistency and dedication are key to achieving success in selling on amazon remember this journey is about finding the right path for your business and continuously adapting and refining your approach keep learning stay informed about the market trends and be open to experimenting with the new strategies with perseverance with a solid business model you are sure to see positive results from your amazon selling venture if you're ready to embark on your amazon journey seller app is the perfect platform to get started just reach out to us at support at salarab.com and our team of experts will be more than happy to assist you with incredible launch strategies to kickstart your business. And that's it for this video, everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Salarab. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides for any specific topic. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another videos. And also, don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. And as always, happy selling!